Hey all, welcome back. We have another hands-on exercise. This one is going to be for creating a user in Genesis Cloud. This is pretty self-explanatory. We do have the files, as always, for all hands-on uploaded. I uh, just figured we'd give you a quick video on this. This is really simple. Uh, obviously, we're already logged in. We're in the admin panel here. We're under peoples and permissions. You're just going to select people. You can see there's only one user here right now. We're going to go ahead and add a person. Um, you can just do, you know, null and test here. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, my personal e email in here just so we have it. Optional fields, you can you can configure everything if you want it to. You can add queues and roles to it, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, you can send invite or not send invite. I'm not going to send that out just so it's there. But you can go ahead and create. It's going to create that person. You will have to then X out of this. It's going to go ahead and look. You're able to go in here now and then configure. So for like roles, you may need to add a few roles, especially if we're gonna to transfer to this person uh, in the call flow, which is one of the hands-on exercises. You will want to have them have a few. One is user, and then there is another one here. Could you communicate user if you want there? And I believe we're good. Yep, so you're gonna go ahead and save and continue. It's going to upgrade their license. Make sure that uh, you know you do you are following your company's policies around that. Uh, we're going to view phone, so we will give them a phone eventually. We have not created one yet. That is out of the scope of this, so I'll do it in the background. Um, ACD skills, we're not worried about that either. That's out of the scope for this course. Um, we are going to add them to a queue, and it's going to be the inbound test queue. You go ahead, save, continue, and then person details. So we want to give this person. A, uh, an extension so that way we can transfer to them and then we can show exactly uh, how that works. So I'm going to hit view edit mode. We're going to hit edit on the contact and then essentially here I'm just going to put extension 1001. So that gives them an extension. Now they're able to receive calls. If they don't have that they're not able to actually receive a call. So now it's saved. That's their extension and we're ready to go. So feel free to play around. Create multiple users if you want. Um, whatever your company policy is, but if you're testing this out, go ahead and you know do that. Play around with the different sections, the different um, queues. If you know how to create the WebRTC phone, create that. Uh, there's so many different things that you can add and remove here uh, to make these different users. But um, yeah, just make sure you keep testing it. Obviously, uh, this is going to build on later hands-on exercises. So uh, make make sure you're pretty comfortable with it, and see you in the next uh, course.